YouTubers, this is Neil Turner with River Rock Outdoors again. And uh, for this video, we're going to show you five things that I consider paramount to take with you on a day hike. The first three are going to be things that I take with me no matter whether or not I'm going on a day hike anyway. And I think it's things that you consider before you even leave the house. The first thing, of course, is like clothing. Uh, factors that you'd uh, contribute into clothing and deciding which clothing to wear would be things such as durability, uh, function, and of course, uh, to be quite honest with you, fashion. Uh, everybody has a self-image that they kind of uh, view yourself as. I, I'm pretty bland. Mostly, you know, function and durability are, are the most important things. Is it weatherproof? Is it comfortable? Uh, is it going to be something that I'm going to be able to use in multiple situations? And I think the most important item in your garment selection is footwear. Of course, you've seen uh, I have a, a pair of Loa boots on, leather boots that I wear. I have them on now. I wear them most of the time. Uh, they're uh, very uh, functional. They're durable. They're comfortable. These things are things you, you need to kind of keep in mind when you select uh, uh, clothing items and uh, things of that nature. Uh, second thing I take with me, no matter what, whether I, I leave the house or not, or, or going on a day hike or not, is a pocket knife. My father used to kind of instill this in me from a kid, and he always had pocket knives with him, but whenever the situation arised and you needed something done, he always would pull his pocket knife out. Uh, and that was something that's kind of ingrained in me uh, from from the get-go but this one I've, I've featured uh, in previous videos it's just a case folding pocket knife and I put it in my pocket I carry it where whether I, wherever I go uh, it's got a couple of different items on it uh, a bottle opener a screwdriver and a file but that's pretty much it but it's got a good heavy blade on it it keeps a good edge uh, and kind of going with that and I don't carry it often is a is a sharpener and you can buy these sharpeners just pretty much anywhere but they have ceramic uh, rods in them and it's not a wet rock or anything all you do is just kind of slide it through that little slot to keep an edge on it and that's something to consider too uh, second thing I carry with me whether I'm going on a day hike or not every single day is a lighter or some method of starting a fire and you think, well, you know, I'm not going to start a campfire today. I'm going to the grocery store. But, you know, uh, really you don't. And I'm not a doomsday prepper or anything like that. But what if something did happen? You know, what if your car broke down? What if you was in the middle of the woods somewhere? What, you know, if you tr uh, uh, commute uh, 30 minutes to, to work every day and you have to go through the mountains and your car breaks down. Hey, that happened to me in the middle of uh, the winter on the top of a mountain. And these none of these things I had and I suffered because of it. But... Uh, the uh, uh, having a good lighter and I, I carry a Zippo lighter and these aren't very practical in a lot of reasons but the reason I do carry it is because it throws a spark you can start a fire with a spark uh, you're not carrying a ferro rod or anything but also you can light it and it maintains a flame you don't have to hold down the button or anything and you've got a good constant flame to start fires with in wet conditions so that's that's a good item to carry and to consider Fourthly, is a good bag or something to carry things with you. Uh, I'm not into uh, having man purses, is what they're called, man, man purses, fanny packs, uh, the middle-aged white man bag, you know. But uh, anyway, the, this is a, a good thing to consider. It's just a small bag uh, you can carry over your shoulder. I carry you know, like a 45-liter pack, uh, which is a good in-between. You're not going like uh, in... in, in uh, cross country or anything, but you can spend you know two or three nights out in the woods comfortably and carry everything you need in a 45 liter pack. Now this one's just like an Ozark Trail pack. Bought at Walmart. It's not super expensive, but it has everything that you need. It's got every pouch that you could possibly imagine on it, and uh, you can put just pretty much anything that you want in there. Cook sets, uh, sleeping bags, food, snacks, uh, things of that nature. So those the water good heavy waist belt, uh, good straps, uh, adjustable, something that you can adjust to your body type uh, are things that you can consider. Uh, so this is the one I carry and it fits your budget. So this is a good option, uh, a Walmart Ozark Trail backpack. So, And then finally, of course, uh, uh, probably one of the more important things is a shelter. 
uh, you have to have some type of shelter with you if you're going on a day hike. So well, I'm just going on a day hike. I even carry this a lot of times in my vehicle is a, a shelter system and the one I use mostly is like an Eno hammock with a tarp. I also have a bug net and all that stuff with me but the two of the main items of course I carry the straps too. Straps, uh, the, the hammock system and the tarp are a good option. Also, you can just, you know, carry just a tarp with you. You can do a lot of things with a tarp as far as the shelter system goes. So these are the five of the most uh, uh, important items are things that I carry with me regardless of whether I'm hiking or not. But those are, and there's a lot of other things that you can carry too. I realize that as well. But these are the top five. So I hope this was beneficial to you and I hope it uh, helps you. And uh, keep this in mind when you go on your next hike. Okay, so please, if you enjoyed the video, like it, uh, subscribe to it, uh, leave some comments uh, below so that we can see that we're going in the right direction. Have a good day and God bless you.